I'm Andrew uh, Wansley. I wrote Gifter, and I'm going to talk about Can four things. Uh, Can I zoom in more? Excellent. So let's let's do that. Is that is that okay? Can't get too small. How about that? Yeah. Better. Uh, so I'm going to talk about four things. First, I'll talk a little bit about what Gifter is, and uh, give a very brief demo of it. Um, I'll tell the story of kind of how, how we got here, what, why I ended up writing this thing, uh, why I ported it to Sandstorm, and then uh, that was the third thing. And then last, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what excites me about Sandstorm and the kind of on that. So you can use Gifter to coordinate a gift exchange with a group of friends or, or your family. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you have a gift list, so I can say I want a smooth demo. <laughs> And that's on my list now, uh, and then and to minimize my list because I have an incognito window where I have a different Sandstorm user who's looking at my list. So I'm now going to say a smooth demo, that should be easy, and now I can sort of like claim to other people in this, this group that I'm going to deliver Andrew a smooth demo, and so no one else is going to get Andrew the same thing. But of course, Andrew doesn't see those comments, so the element of surprise is preserved. So. This is very simple, very easy to use. It's, 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 of course, sort of opinionated software in a sense. It only works for a particular style of gift exchange where you know, it's appropriate to kind of ask, ask for uh, you know, the, the gifts you want and coordinate. And so, so how, how did I end up writing this kind of like opinionated gift list app, which is kind of random? Uh, the simple answer is about five years ago, my mom asked me to write it. Um, <laughs> I was a product manager at Google at the time, and I wanted something to do over the Thanksgiving holiday. So I wrote it, my family used it, and it was great. And the next year, I rewrote it for kind of similar reasons and used a different kind of web framework because it was fun for me. And it became this yearly tradition for me where every year I would kind of rewrite it. <laughs> <laughs> and and use, use it to sort of teach myself some, some new technology. I, I thought so you didn't have to talk to your family and thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Never, never. Um, so, so last year, uh, uh, the year before I had written it on Meteor, which I quite liked, and this year, I decided for my rewrite, I was going to port it to Sandstorm. Um, and so that's my third thing. Why did, I, why did I port it to Sandstorm? Well, for one, I've been interested in Sandstorm for a while. It's pretty cool. And more importantly, my family had been telling me forever that they're always like, Andrew, like all of our friends would love to use something like this. You should just write it for everybody and like maintain it and release it and like people will pay you. And <laughs> I'm just going to like, no, this is going to be so, it's gonna be so much headache. It's going to be like costly, a bunch of effort. Um, and it, it was like multiple years of this before I finally realized like, oh, Sandstorm actually can let me release Gifter to other people and at least theoretically satisfy my, my family's desire uh, without, without making me like hate it. <laughs> because this way I won't have to pay for servers or worry about like collecting payments from other people for them. I don't have to like write code to handle group management and sharing, which seems like a pain. I don't have to think about how to make it like scalable or performant, which seemed hard maybe. Um, and so Sandstorm finally gave you a way to share Gifter with anyone who wanted to use it who had access to Sandstorm. So uh, uh, that, that's why I ported it to Sandstorm. I, I've been pretty happy with the result. I hope I, it came out a little late this year, so hopefully next, next year we'll get some folks using it, which would be pretty cool. Um, so I'll close on, on sort of like connecting this to what's exciting about Sandstorm in general. Uh, there's lots of reasons. I'll pick one. I, I, I don't really believe, and some people in this room probably disagree with me, but I don't really believe the control that comes from self-hosting is like a sufficient reason for most people to switch to using Sandstorm. So from my, from my view, fundamentally it'll be useful for most folks if it enables sort of unique services that, that are useful. And excitingly, I think it has a good shot of doing just that. There are a tremendous number of very simple, useful services that will never make sense and will never be VC-backed unicorns and, <laughs> and, and, and are still a great fit for Sandstorm. So I'll, I'll give a couple of categories of things like this. So one is they, they might appeal to a niche audience. So I think share latex is a great example of this, or share latex, sorry. Um, or or uh, they might perform just like a very simple task that's useful, but useful in a limited context. So I think Gifter is a, a fine example of that. Uh, another one I, I thought would be great for Sandstorm is like Doodle. I don't know if you guys have ever used it. It's like yeah. a little scheduling thing. Yeah, date uh, is a... Is the, are they a sensor map now? Uh, they are, yeah. I, awesome. I, 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 yeah. I will never use Google again. Yeah. <laughs> Duel's great, but it's like covered in ads because they have to like pay their server costs, and, yeah. and there's just no reason for that. Um, and then kind of two more speculative categories of, of apps that I think might be a good fit for sensor on are, are cases where, this one's a little, a little odd, but cases where like advertising-centric product metrics conflict with good user experience. And 
uh, I think kind of personal photo storage for a long time has been in a category like this, where like all the kind of photo backup apps had like these kind of annoying features that were geared at like getting you to spend more time on the site or getting you to share more, where I really want something that's just gonna like serve me and do what I want and be really simple and done. I actually think Google Photos is really good and they, they kind of finally got there, but I think in general this category is, is something where Sensor can kind of fill a hole. Uh, chat clients is another kind of example of this. And then, and then my last kind of category, which is again a little more speculative, is stuff that's just like, like really highly sensitive information. So if I'm going to build my like personal data vault, my like memex that records you know everything about my life or whatever, that, that actually might want to self-host because you know it's it's so 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 all-encompassing. I might really want to have control over that. So those are some categories of things that that excite me about Sandstorm. Gift is just sort of one example of it. But anyway, that was that was fun.